Genesis chapter 4 introduces us to one of the most well-known stories in the Bible, the tale of Cain and Abel. This gripping narrative explores themes of sibling rivalry, sacrifice, and the consequences of disobedience. As we delve into the depths of this chapter, we are reminded of profound human emotions, the complexities of relationships, and the eternal question of accountability. Join us as we uncover the lessons hidden within Genesis chapter 4 and the tragedy that unfolds. Genesis chapter 4 verse 1 And Adam knew Eve his wife, and she conceived, and bare Cain, and said, I have gotten a man from the Lord. Verse 2 And she again bare his brother Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. Verse 3 And in process of time it came to pass, that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. Verse 4 And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and to his offering. Verse 5 But unto Cain and to his offering he had not respect. And Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Verse 6 And the Lord said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? Verse 7 If thou doest well, shalt thou not be accepted? And if thou doest not well, sin leath at the door. And unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. Verse 8 And Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass, when they were in the field, that Cain rose up against Abel his brother, and slew him. Verse 9 And the Lord said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? The voice of thy brother's blood crieth unto me from the ground. Verse 11 And now art thou cursed from the earth, which hath opened her mouth to receive thy brother's blood from thy hand. Verse 12 When thou tillest the ground it shall not henceforth yield unto thee her strength. A fugitive and a vagabond shalt thou be in the earth. Verse 13 And Cain said unto the Lord, My punishment is greater than I can bear. Verse 14 Behold, thou hast driven me out this day from the face of the earth, and from thy face shall I be hid, and I shall be a fugitive and a vagabond in the earth, and it shall come to pass, that every one that findeth me shall slay me. Verse 15 And the Lord said unto him, Therefore whosoever slayeth Cain, vengeance shall be taken on him sevenfold. And the Lord set a mark upon Cain, lest any finding him should kill him. Verse 16 And Cain went out from the presence of the Lord, and dwelt in the land of Nod, on the east of Eden. 17 And Cain knew his wife, and she conceived, and bare Enoch. And he builded a city, and called the name of the city, after the name of his son, Enoch. Verse 18 And unto Enoch was born Arad, and Arad begat Mehuyael, and Mehuyael begat Methusel, and Methusel begat Lamech. Verse 19 And Lamech took unto him two wives, the name of the one was Adah, and the name of the other Zillah. Verse 20 And Adah bare Jabal. He was the father of such as dwell in tents, and of such as have cattle. Verse 21 And his brother's name was Jubal. He was the father of all such as handle the harp and organ. Verse 22 And Zillah, she also bare Tubalcain, an instructor of every artificer in brass and iron. And the sister of Tubalcain was Nama. Verse 23 And Lamech said unto his wives, Ada and Zillah, Hear my voice. Ye wives of Lamech, hearken unto my speech. For I have slain a man to my wounding, and a young man to my hurt. Verse 24 If Cain shall be avenged sevenfold, truly Lamech seventy and sevenfold. Verse 25 And Adam knew his wife again, and she bare a son, and called his name Seth. For God, said she, hath appointed me another seed instead of Abel, whom Cain slew. Verse 26 And to Seth, to him also there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of the Lord. Genesis chapter 4 paints a vivid picture of the volatile nature of human emotions and the far-reaching ramifications that can result from unchecked jealousy and anger. The story of Cain and Abel serves as a timeless reminder of the importance of personal accountability and the potential for redemption. As we contemplate the tragic events presented in this chapter, we are encouraged to reflect on our own actions and strive for emotional maturity and personal growth. Like the video. Share the video. Stay tuned next Sunday as we dive into chapter 5. Have a blessed day.